morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. So, today is my first day back. It's been an exact week since I've had the uh, periodontal surgery done. And um, I just wanted to give an update. As you can see, I'm in my wagon, my stealth vehicle. You know, it's just nice and quiet. You know, not a whole lot of excitement. Um, It's ironic. But I felt like I've picked up a little bit of weight. Um, I don't know if it's the time off or what, but I feel like getting that surgery done really kind of, uh, it really helped me out a lot as far as um, just in general, my health, just in general. Um, I just feel good now. Like, you know, I go to, I go to sleep and I'm up, I'm up. Um, besides that, uh it um the pain wasn't what i thought it would be um didn't have to take the pain medication did take the antibiotics though i'm not a sucker for pain I, i'm not a big fan of pain but um i'm just not into that the whole medication stuff so um not not pain medication anyways um as far as cleaning is concerned uh it was a little bit difficult cleaning give me a second uh. it was a little bit different cle um difficult cleaning what i had to do what i wind up had to do was get a q-tip to get the uh, side of my mouth because um being that they cut the the gum away from the teeth um i didn't want to use a toothbrush to irritate that section that was healing so what i did was i got a uh there's a Q-tip that you would use to clean your ears and um, put some toothpaste on it. And my girlfriend, she kind of just went over because food, even though you don't eat on that side, food is still going to accumulate over there. So, um, like I said, just just simply um, use, just trying to keep it as clean as possible. Rinse with salt water, um, you know, three times a day. Uh, keep the other side of your mouth clean because they only do one side at a time. Whether it's upper or lower, they'll only do one side at a time because they still need you to be able to eat. Um, they did put me on a soft food diet for two weeks. Uh, that lasted, uh, not two weeks. <laughs> um, I tried to make sure I eat as much alkalinic, um, alkaline food as possible. Sorry, y'all. These tints are dark. Um, besides that, it was nothing that I thought it would be. Um, it was pretty good. Um, I just wanted to give an update. My last video of me. Um, the la my last video I think was of me welding a stupid dirt bike flying through the neighborhood. And I'm sorry. A little bit of just flew on my mouth. But um, yeah, you know, as far as, uh, as, far as everything goes, it's, uh, I think it's healing pretty good. Um, uh, the care wasn't that bad. Um, you know, you just take your antibiotics like you're supposed to. And I mean, they, they removed a decent size of, uh, of, of, um, dead, dead flesh from my jaw structure. Um, I, when I look in the mirror, I, I think I can see a difference in the, the side that they did the surgery on and the side they didn't. Um, if you want to know, you can always leave your comments um, down below. I would tell y'all to like, share, and subscribe, but I had so many subscribers on my last channel. Um, now it's about me putting this stuff out because it, the more the more people I can try to help, however I, I may feel, it still is important for somebody else to learn and for somebody else not to go through it. For somebody else to understand that at some point you have to take the time out of helping everybody else to start taking care of yourself. Um, Could have done this a long time ago, but I, like I said, finances and, you know, not being um, mentally mature and, and all that stuff. But now having a child and stuff like that is like... You know, I want to I wanna be able to live for a long time and, and live healthy and stuff like that. So it does feel good to know that I'm doing everything in my power to take care of myself. But, um, yeah, it hasn't been a, a difficult path. It, it's just 
I um I grind my teeth. So I've been uh I was trying to go without a night guard for a little bit to see. Um I started back using a night guard. Um been using a lot of uh salt salt water, just warm salt water, not just just room temperature salt water. Um you know, and keeping it clean, trying to do it three times a day. Don't put any floss on that area. Um, it's still healing. Um, it takes. I think that I gotta go back in two weeks for a follow up, and I think that's when they'll take the stitches out. Um, but yeah, just want to give it. It's nothing complicated. It's nothing like I thought it would be. I mean, like I said, the most traumatic part of it was them literally cutting away the gum from the teeth. I mean, it was like somebody eating a, a piece of steak and cutting it open. Ah, uh, even though they numb your mouth, you still literally feel them cutting into it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been a week and I'm back to work. I'm going to try to get the other side done probably next year. Um, they had to do the worst side first. The other side is nowhere as bad. There's just a few, few spots here and there. Um, but I, I just want to give a, a general follow up of everything and, um, you know, let you know let people know that even though it's not something that everyone wants to talk about it is it's good to deal with the hard stuff first so you can deal with the easy stuff down the road now you know that's always been my motto do the hard stuff first get it out of the way and you know as you age and as your body is not able to uh withstand the hard you know stuff that you know getting the surgery i might not i might not be able to heal like i would now so you know taking care of business man you know i can't tell nobody to do something that i wouldn't do and i'm leading by example you know um being a trendsetter is hard because sometimes you have to do what everybody else is not doing and um sometimes you have to do what everybody else is doing because it's it's got it's gonna get you to where you need to go, but you have to know when to step out of that follow the leader line and be a leader yourself. And you have to know when to get back in line. So it's it's a balance in that. But um for right now, uh I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go back to work. Um and I have a, a good surprise is a good, but it's a bad because it's not all the way, it's not 100% as yet, but it's a stepping stone. Um, if you guys would like to know, you can always leave your comments down below. It's, it's, uh, it's uplifting for me. Um, yeah, man, um, got a lot of car stuff, you know, um, got a lot of family stuff, traveling, just been enjoying the summer, man. This has been an awesome summer, uh, me and the family took the uh the hatch the civic up to pennsylvania a place called um red rock um pennsylvania that was fun um civic ran great no issues i'm back to driving a station wagon this is my daily driver and if you guys see um any of my car videos you know this is a awesome daily driver to drive it's quiet it's clean it's everything i need ac heat the civic no ac no heat no power steering that's just to have fun, and you can't drive every day because you will get locked up. One love, stay up, stay blessed.